And we are back. Continuing with the last episode of Hogwarts Legacy Left Off. How you folks doing? I gotta go talk to Amilda Reyes at the Quidditch pitch. Yep, can't do fucking nothing here, but fun, fun times. Revelio. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Yes, me, Ravenclaw. How you doing? Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest I of the school. I don't feel it like I was. I Everyone was taking shortcuts. For beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Well, what's the game? What sort of courses are these? You tell me. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Okay then, bitch. Game on. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Fun. The fuck am I missing that? Oh god, it's gonna bite me in the ass. Hold it. Christ! Can I restart this? Can I restart? Because this is... My controls are... I am not flown in a bit. You can tell. I am rusty as shit.
I I somehow might have passed. I missed it by I may have missed it by three seconds actually. Nope. I was three seconds off or three milliseconds off or whatever you want to call it, but god damn it, I fucked up. Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. But what say you? Want to try again? Ready when you are. Oh, I, I'm the king of fucking, you know, Wizard Fight Club. I will absolutely destroy your ass. Let's go. Made it. And your record's destroyed. Here we go. Fuck you, bitch. Game on. That wasn't too bad. Ah, uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah. Uh. Fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I mean, I kind of don't want it, but you know. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Okay, so I gotta return to Albie Weeks. One time, where the fuck is my bird? Protego! Nice. Fly to Albie Weeks and I will deliver him the good news in person! Screw fast traveling, I can fly until a dragon kills me. Until one of those dragons comes back and eats my ass for flying. And for all I know, that could happen. You know that? That really could happen, so we don't know. Revelio. Meet, here I come. Okie dokie, that was a bit of lag, but it could have just been loading in for all I know. Back to Albie Weeks. Let's fucking go. Oh, you're back! 
We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Who doubted you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Thanks for the help. I can't wait to hear more. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Revelio. Now I can go to Hogwarts and go to the rumor requirement quest that I have from, I think, Professor Weasley. However, I also think I have some talents to get because I think I didn't level up in the last episode. So, that is a thing. Yeah, I didn't. I have one. And now we will fast travel to Hogwarts. Room requirement, here we fucking go. Onward, all the stuff I bought will now be put to use, yes. Everything I blew my money on as a student will now be put to use. In the room of requirement. Dun, dun, dun. Rebellion. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere and away from Now Paradise. we wait. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Welcome to the Room of Requirement. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. 
It only appears when one is in real need of it. Or Rebellion. A student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. Rebellion. I don't plan to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. What do you want me to do, Professor? I could burn it. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Whatever you say, Professor, whatever you say. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Moon's name is that elf? What's this Goodness. over here? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Can't believe it's still here. I'll just a, take a quick I look. I waited for this. you for ages. You Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expect. Let me know yes, if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Who is T? Revelio. Don't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Oops, a daisy, here we go. Revelio. The hell happened to all my spells? What did I do? This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Revelio! I mean, I'm not an intruder, you assholes. I'm just wandering in. Just, you know, lounging about. It offended the room. I need a bath, cheeky thing. Rebellion. Rebellion. <laughs> How 
How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Rebellion! What was that? Was that a golden snitch? I heard it. I don't Perhaps see where it fucking went. Wits and find out. <laughs> Rebellion. Damn it, it went up and now I want to do it again. Motherfucker, come on! Rebellion! Okay, maybe I could somehow reach the bullshit. Come on. in there now where's that snitch? There's the house elf. I see him up there. Hi, bud. How are you? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. 
The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, well, it's time to focus on what you now. need. Together Just then, close Pete, your eyes. you and I. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. I got style. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room provided you with a desk of description. I did not mean Excellent. to do that. It can identify unfamiliar items doing. of clothing. One should always understand Edwin. the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Nothing to identify, for now at least. I imagine the desk of description will come What else can I do here? It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay, let's do this then. Here we go! Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you not should have students, enough resources you know. for now. I see. Allowance, it's not. Can I regain resources God by vanishing damn. something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Stuff Why is expensive a for a student professor, unless y'all want to give me some money. Station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Oh, I've got a lot going on for me here. Ha 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 ha. E e eclectic, okay. Botanical. Is that just cosmetic or does that matter how it really fucking works? Ooh, hopping bots though.
Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's see what else I can do. Whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. So it's table statues and seasonal decorations. Yeah, I would like to move. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. For plants. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use transfiguration magic everywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I'd like to know more about your friend Deke. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Man, they really started giving me a bit of everything, didn't they? Holy hell. Yeah, well, how the fuck am I supposed to do that, huh, game? God damn it. What am I supposed to fucking do? Yeah, 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 I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Hold the fuck on, I'm doing some stuff. I would like to know how to unplace stuff, I guess. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully 
outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Well, I remembered that, so fantastic. Let me put that back, and I will end the episode. Okay, we got stuff going. I oh, sorry, Deke. I was gonna say we got stuff going. I guess how plant some shit in the next one. But for now, oh, for now we got some shit cooking. And since I'm you safe and nothing's safe. trying to destroy me, I will end oh, the episode here. I've got my own headwig. I've got my own desk. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I I can't wait to explore what I can do with this room in later episodes. Good. Bye, everybody. See you later.